I'm Dominic Stevens. On my travels around the country over the past couple of weeks, I have noticed that the, the myth of the slow Canterbury rebuild is alive and well. So I thought I'd use this week's video just to set out what's really going on in Canterbury. Now this week's Building Work Put in Place survey showed that the value of consented residential construction activity in Canterbury has risen 67% over the past year and 314% over the past three years. Now that puts the value of residential construction activity in Canterbury well above double the peak pace that was reached in the boom of last decade. If we look at commercial construction activity in Canterbury, well it's up 50% over the past year and again it's just above double the peak pace that was reached last decade. Now if, those, if that rate of growth and that pace of construction activity can't be called rapid, then quite frankly I don't know what can. I guess the thing about the Canterbury rebuild though is it's awfully large, so with all this rapid pace of construction activity that we're seeing today, we're still only a quarter of the way through the job. And what that means is that three quarters of the damaged capital has not yet been attended to, and it could well be quite some time before it is. Now, um, it's not just the Canterbury rebuild, of course, that's driving today's construction boom. We've also seen a 36% increase in residential construction in Auckland over the past year and a 29% increase in commercial construction. Although I do have to acknowledge that the rest of New Zealand is still fairly subdued. But look, with all this construction growth going on in Auckland and Canterbury, it is enough to put quite a bit of stress on the industry. Construction sector employment has risen 17% in the past year. The unemployment rate is now 2.8% in Canterbury. And construction cost inflation is running above 4% per annum. I remain firmly of the view that ongoing growth in Auckland and Canterbury construction will continue to apply inflation pressure to the New Zealand economy, thus requiring the Reserve Bank to lift the OCR further over 2015 and 16. I'd also add that for an industry in a region experiencing 50 and 67 percent rates of growth uh, per annum at the moment, the removal of that growth or even the wind down of the rebuild is going to be a big challenge for the economy indeed uh, later this decade. Talk to you next week.